Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us see an example uh, of vectors in three spaces. So, let's say we have an example of this type. If u is a vector and the components of this vector are negative 1, 0, 1, and then if v is another vector and the components of this vector are 2, negative 1, 5 in R3 spaces, then we want to find the following things. We want to find, we want to find 1. What is the sum of vector u plus vector v? Then we want to, we also want to know what is the product of 2 times vector u. And we also want to know vector v minus 2 times vector u. And we also want to graph this. We want to see how the graph of this, uh, the combination and then product of these vectors look like. So let us get started. We'll start, we'll call this as step number one, and then we'll solve the first example here. The first example we're asking is vector u plus vector v. So vector u is given to us as negative 1, 0, 1. And then vector v is given to us as 2, negative 1, and 5. And the way we do the sum of two vectors is we take the first component of the first vector and then add it to the first, co first component of the second vector, and then we keep going. Negative 1 plus 2, that is the first component of the product, then 0 minus 1, that is the second component, then 1 plus 5, that is the third component. And when we, when we simplify all of this, negative 1 plus 2 is 1, then 0 minus 1 is negative 1, and then 1 plus 5 is 6. So the sum of vector u and vector v is 1 comma negative 1 comma 6. We'll keep this and then we will come back and uh, uh, graph this in, in just a minute. Okay, So this is one part we want to graph. The second one we have here is, uh, is 2 times vector u. So 2 times, 2 is the scalar quantity and the vector u is negative 1, 0, 1. It is just a matter of distributing the 2 to every one of the components in the vector. 2 times negative 1 is we're going to multiply the 2 to every one of the components. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, 2 times 0 is 0, and then 2 times 1 is 2. So that is how we want to look at the multiplication of 2 to a vector. The third question we want to answer is, what if we have vector v and we want to subtract 2 times vector u from that, from that? So vector v is given to us as 2 comma negative 1 comma 5 and then vector u is given to us as 2 times negative 1 comma 0 comma 1. So when we simplify this, this is going to be 2 comma negative 1 comma 5. Nothing is happening there. We're going to distribute the 2 to every one of the components in here. That makes it negative 2. Um, we'll keep the negative sign and then we'll just distribute the 2 for now. Neg 2 times negative 2, negative 1 is negative 2, 2 times 0 is 0, and then 2 times 1 is 2. And now we are ready to now we are ready to combine them. So 2 minus of minus 2 that is the first component of the product, then negative 1 minus 0, that's the second component, and then we have 5 minus 2. When we simplify all of this, this is going to be 2 negative, negative times negative is a positive, so therefore 2 plus 2 is 4, comma, negative 1, and then 5 minus 2 is 3, and therefore vector v minus 2 times vector u is going to be equal to 4, comma, negative 1, comma, 3. So we got all the three 
So this is the second one we want to graph, and this is the third one we want to graph. This is vector v minus 2 times vector u. This is the third one we want to graph. Okay, so we'll keep those. And then now let us go to the graph sheet and then see how we can graph this. I'm going to try a three-dimensional graph here, and then just bear with me. So if, if I have... These, if these are the x, y, and z components, if this is x, and if this is y, and if this is z, and if I were to come in here and then say this is, if I put some units in here, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, and then in here, if I were to, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then in here, if I were to put some units, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, Five, six, and then this is one, two, three, four. This is four. This is four, five, six, seven, eight. And here this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the origin zero. This is origin zero. This is the origin zero. And then on the negative x axis, we have one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on. And now I'm going to try to plot these, these out and then see how this looks like. Now the first question we had was well, when we added a vector u plus vector v, that is the combination of that came out as 1 comma negative 1 comma 6. 1 is we're going to travel on the positive x-axis, positive 1, and then on the y-axis we're going to travel one uh, a negative unit. This is a positive x, and then we're going to travel um, one negative unit. So we're going to go um, this way. We're going to travel one that way. And then um, six units on, to the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six units to the top. So that is the point we have. Therefore, we're going to join that to the origin and that is the origin there. So this point here is um, this point here is 1 comma negative 1 comma 6 and this is uh, a, this, this one here is representing vector u plus vector v. Okay. Then the second point here we have is 2 times vector u came out as negative 2 comma 0 comma 2. So negative 2 is going to be on the, on the x-axis, this is negative 1, this is negative 2. Negative 2, 0, the value of, uh, on the y-axis there is nothing. But on the z-axis we are going to go up 2 units, so 1, 2. So that is where that point is going to be. Therefore, from here, we're going to draw a line, and this point here, this is going to be 2 vector u, 2 vector u, and therefore, this terminal point here is going to be negative 2, 0, 2, like that. Okay, and then the third point we have is, uh, v vector v minus 2 times vector u came out as 4 comma negative 1 comma 3. So now we want to represent where 4 is uh, on the 
on the x-axis, that is 1, 2, 3, 4 on the positive x-axis, and then negative 1 is on the negative y-axis, so they we're going to go not on the positive side but on but on the negative side right there, and then we want to rise three units on the positive z-axis. So from here we're going to go one, two, three units. So that is the point we have. Therefore, we're going to join that point to the origin, and the terminal point here is going to be four, comma negative one comma three and this one here is vector v this is vector v minus two times vector u so not only we can evaluate the vectors but we can also be able to graph them as shown here this is a three-dimensional graph so it becomes a bit complicated but if we keep our units um, and then if we keep um, uh, keep track of what we're doing, we should be able to plot them out. So in my next presentation, we should look at some more examples using vectors in n spaces.